remember to type your name in the chat. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Get out the box. Where can I your books over there? Stack them up nicely. This is all we did all the yesterday. Matt. Good. What? Here. your math stuff. So we'll start math after coding. A couple of people, and then we'll start. <laughs> Hopefully everything works today. Not like yesterday. Yeah. We know yesterday's in the class.
guess we'll start the charges. Anybody come here late? Hey, good morning, friends. Charlie here. We're going to start the day by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, so the first thing we do is everybody stand up. Go ahead and quietly stand up. Good. And then when you're standing up, uh, what's, what do we do with our hand, our right hand, do you know? That's right. You put it on your heart, just like that. And now we're going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. You ready? Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, great job, you did it. Have a good day at school, guys. I'll see you soon, bye. <laughs> Turn to face the flag. Place your right hand over your heart. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please wait for a moment of silence. Thank you. Oops. Okay. Anybody got anything they want to share before we start? <coughs> Make sure you have your math binder. You want to stand on our math. I don't got nothing to share. You wouldn't hear pod today. I have something to share. What do you have to share? Hold on. Uh oh. I'm kind of scared to see what you got to share. It's nothing. I just need to close my door. Um, but um, I'm going to a doctor's appointment today at eleven. At eleven? Okay. Hmm. Eleven or eleven thirty? I think it was eleven thirty. Your mom told me. So then you'll probably have to do some science, and you'll have to look onto your Nearpod for reading. There's a Nearpod that you can do by yourself that we're going to do today, okay? Okay. That you can look at this afternoon. I mean, that's, I don't know. That's probably it. Okay. So for any of y'all that miss, you can always go into Canvas and find what we did for the day. Either that day, if you, like Natalie, that's going to be gone. She could be at the dentist waiting and look at her science near pod. Or you can also do it later on in the afternoon and look at your, because I know reading right now has the same near pod or has a near pod going over everything we're going over during reading. And then math too has, <clears throat> it has the near pod this week for place value. So if you miss, math or you get kicked out, you can always go and do that Nearpod and do the same thing we're doing. So hopefully we can get to our Nearpod today, but we'll see. You all ready? Let's see who showed up. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Ray Ray's here. Everybody's got their math. We're gonna start with skills page four, or skills four. Share my screen. Yeah. Why did this do that? Why? Why did I do that? Of course, this is going to be in the way. Of course, this is going to be in the way. Make it as big as possible. Fractions, skills page four. <sighs> what we've been doing. Okay. Come on, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. 
We'll try to do a Nearpod in a little bit to change things up. Or maybe later on in the second part of math, I'll let you try the Nearpod. Tales 4, Tales 4, page 1, got the little rhombus on the bottom, diamond rhombus, and it's got the fractions. So, something we've already skills, skills page 4. Yes, skills page 4. Going to show. Okay. Page 4. What page is this? Skills page, skills four, page one. Are you there? I'm not there yet. Breaking up, and I don't know who's trying to ask me something, but they're breaking up real bad. Adrian, that might be you. Are you ready? Okay, number one. So it says write the fraction that represents the shaded area of the model. So just like we did. <coughs> um, how many equal parts do we have? Six. Six. No, that's your denominator. So I'm going to put this right here. You don't have to write this down. Number of shaded. Number of people. So then how many goes on top? How many are shaded? Okay, I'm here. Five. So me? The denominator is five. No, the denominator is not five. The denominator is your bottom number. But denominator and the denominator number. is a three. Oh, the next one, yeah. Number two would be three, and then numerator would be one. One. Good job. Look, you're awake. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, tomorrow. No. What day is that? Seven? Five? Six? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow will be seven. Okay. Three. How many equal parts? Four. Four. Four is right. How many shaded? Now, Three. Then, um, the next one, number four, is nine and twelve. Is it? Let me see. One, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep, twelve. Yeah, nine, twelve. Good job. AJ, are you awake over there? Looks like you're tired. I'm tired too. One, two. Finish them all. I woke up at I woke up at four four to nine. No, that's pretty early. Um, what's our numerator on number five? The top. Five. The numerator? The denominator is five. No, four. Four? Remember, Chloe, our denominator is our bottom and our numerator is our top. Hmm. Let me see if y'all can answer this one, number five. I'll read it, y'all answer it. So Bailey drew a rhombus and divided it into eight equal parts. He drew squares on three of the parts of the rhombus on the rest of the parts he drew circles. What fraction did he draw circles? Five. Ah, not just five. Let me see. I'm not it's not just five. No, we're working with fractions. It'd be five what? Five eighths. Good job, Natalie. Yep. Five eighths. So we wanted to see how many were circles. So one, two, three, four, five. So I should know. Oh, what's 
What's the back side look like? Oops. You know, I'm still working on this. Oh, yeah. I'm finished. <clears throat> All right. Back side down says Dixon. Dick. Dixon. Dixon folded a sheet of paper. A equal parts. Into A equal parts. He drew a happy faces on three parts. He drew hearts on two parts and he and he drew stars on two parts. Make a sketch tell what the trans paper might look like. This reminds me of yesterday. Yeah, um, or, you might remember it too. Except from, it is yesterday from our Nearpod. Yeah. yeah, these were all on our Nearpods last week, or if you went back and did oh, something. We we're on skills, page four. <laughs> and in number, number seven. I don't got page numbers. No, we're up here. It says. Uh, I know y'all don't have page numbers, but up top, y'all see up top where it says page two? That's what I'm talking about. Skills for page two. There's not page numbers. I don't know why they didn't put page numbers on this year. Oh. Dixon folded a sheet of paper into eight equal parts. He drew happy faces on three parts. He drew hearts on two parts and stars on two parts. Matt, make a sketch of what Dixon's paper might look like. You can draw a rectangle. Make a sketch. And then he drew, this is that one, remember Chloe? You did emojis or something on it. He drew happy faces on three, so smiley faces. Um, he drew hearts on two. Stars. And then. Oh, on three parts. Okay. He drew hearts on two parts and stars on two parts. Do you have one by itself? Three, five, seven, eight, nine, stars. Stars on two parts. And he had one blank one, I guess. Right? I did it right. Did I do it right? So, something like that. Yeah, I'm done. Does it look like mine? Yep. Well, the happy faces are on another part. But do you have three happy faces? You have two hearts and then two stars? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to go to eight. Go ahead. Are I supposed to solve it or no? No, you just had to draw a picture. It says make a sketch of what Dixon's paper might look like. Um, okay. Number eight. During a tournament, Bao won three out of five tennis matches she played. Draw a model to represent the fraction of tennis matches she won. So you're going to draw a picture again. Um, I guess you can draw square. Five. So how many? This is win? Five. No, she won three. So how many would you shade in here? Three. Three, and she has five equal parts, so she played five matches. Shade in three.
Number nine, Larry divided a circle into eight equal parts to represent a pizza. He drew pepperoni on half of the pizza, draw a model to show what Larry's pizza might look like. So we have eight equal parts. Draw my circle. Six. So if you drew pepperonis on half the, half the pizza, how many slices? I can't see it. If you drew pepperonis on half his pizza, how many will have pepperonis? Four. Good job, Bida. I'm going to put in the... The pepperonis are red. I'm gonna put red little dots on mine. Yay. Oh, four of his pizzas would have pepperonis. Jacob, did you already finish all of this? Yes. Um, Hillary is selling a blueberry pie. At the pie has 10 slices. She sold four slices. Draw a model to represent the fractional part of, of the pie Hillary sold. She's got a pie. Make my pie really big. Right here. Right here. Oh, my pie's gonna look terrible. Once again. That's one, two, three, four. Don't make fun of my pie. I'm gonna cut it. So how many would I shade in here? Oh, oh, sorry. How many would I shade in on her pie? Y'all can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, perfectly. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure because sometimes y'all can't see or quiet and y'all don't tell me. Um, how many should we shade in here? She sold in four slices. I should have. It should be done. Unless it's not done. I don't know. Good job, Audrina. She has four fingers up. She's not speaking, but she's got four fingers up. Good job. We should shade in four. One, two, three, four. Four slices. Boom, daka, laka, laka, boom, daka, laka. I think that's an air pod we did on Friday.
Au. 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 Oh, this is cool. Look at this place value. What? It's like family. I might go try this before. Who's barking? I'm tricking. Somebody's dog's not like Are you finished? Oh. Yes. Okay. On this activity, we might get in a little bit. Yes. Um, can we do that? Let's watch our plate dry. You did this yesterday. Hello, students. This is Mrs. Berrigan. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about plate. you take off your share screen? Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you, Adrian. My bad. Your objective is, I can represent a number in multiple ways, such as expanded notation, word form, and numerals. We're going to begin our lesson discussing periods. A period is a group of three digits separated by commas starting from the right. Let's use a place value chart. So, on the right, I'm going to begin with my units period. Then I'm going to jump to okay. my... We might go on... <laughs> a period is when um, I'm talking about um, putting those, like, brackets around the... or in between the commas. <laughs> Pay attention to this part because I think I'm going to have you go try something on Canvas in a little bit. It has a little activity like this. Pretty cool. Thousands period. Okay. Oh, and when is she's talking about units, she's talking about like the ones period. So like ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay? So don't get it confused. Units period. Underneath my units period, I have my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. To separate my thousands from my units, I place a comma. Under the thousands period, I have my thousands place. Ten thousands and hundred thousands. Again, to separate the millions from the thousands period, I place another comma. Under your millions period, the pattern is going to continue. You're going to have your millions, then you're going to have your ten millions and hundred millions. What do we need to separate the billions period from the millions? That's what do we need, Jacob? Separate them. What are you always telling me to put in there? Commas. Comma? Yeah. Right, a comma. And in the billions period, we're just going to go up to the billion. Now let's talk about the place, the location of a digit in a numeral. Get that big if number. we have the number 187,456,223, and we want to know where do we find each of these digits in the place value. So using a place value chart, this will help us organize our information. If you put the numbers underneath each place, it'll be very easy to locate where each digit lives. So let's take the one, the one in a hundred millions place. So it lives in the hundred million. Let's look at the eight. The eight lives in the ten million. The set. So I, it's important to have a place value chart so you know where your numbers live. So I'm not gonna. An example that would be putting the wrong number in the wrong place. So you would not want Natalie showing up to your house unexpectedly because that's not where she lives right you live at your house she lives at her house so 
you put the seven over here, you're putting it in the wrong house. That's not where it lives. That's not where it belongs. It lives in the million place. The four lives in the hundred thousand place. The five lives in the ten thousand place. And the six lives in the thousand place. The two lives in the hundred place. This two lives in the ten place. And this three lives in the one place. So again, the place is the location of the digit in the numeral. Now let's talk about the value. How much is each digit worth? So let's take the same number, 187,456,223. The value of the blank is blank. So we're going to begin with our one in the hundred millionth place. The value of the one is 100 million. Let's take a look at the eight in the 10 millionth place. The value of the eight is 80 million. The value of the seven is seven million. The value of the four is 400,000. The value of the five is 50,000. The value of the six is 6,000. The value of the two is 200. The value of this two is 20, and the value of the three is three. Now I want you to stop this video and reflect on what is it when we talk about periods? What does that mean? What is the place, the location of the digit? How do you find that? And the value, how can you figure out the value of each digit? Give yourself about one minute to reflect and then continue with this video. In the next part of this lesson, we're going to talk about ways to show numbers. One way is to write it out in standard form. It's just the number. And you place your commas in the current location. Remember, commas separate periods. Expanded notation is another way to show numbers. The numeral is expanded into the value of the digit that makes up that number. So I like to think of it like a blowing up a balloon. We're expanding it. We're going to be doing the same thing on the numbers. It shows the digit multiplied by the place value that the digit represents. Place the number of zeros above each place. This is a number of zeros that you would use to write the number in expanded notation. So this is a little tidbit to help you when you're writing expanded notation. So what we do is we place the numbers on top. Your one. So that's what I was showing Adrian yesterday or the day before that. If you start from zero counting that way, that's how many zeros are going to be behind your one. So there would be zeros behind your one, seven, zeros behind your eight, six, and so on, if you keep going. It's a cool little trick. So got that for there, or for there. For now, let's go into our place value. More place value. We're going to be in, un in concepts. Let me show you all again. Out of your binder. Concepts, go to your concepts in your math binder. We're still working in your math binder. Hopefully we can do a near pod in a few minutes or an activity on Canvas. So concepts and it's week one or week two. Yep. What? Week one or week two. It's on week two. Oh wait, yeah. Whatever week this is. What's the wrong place value? So it's place value, it should say 2A at the top. Take page my, one. Okay. Yeah, page one. 2A, page one. Should look like that. For someone I just randomly put to. Page one, place value 2A, page one. Go up there at the top. Find that page. Now we're doing, um, t not 10 digit, 8 digit number. So we're in 10 digit. Yeah. Numbers are getting bigger. 
Numbers are getting bigger. Make sure you have 14,792,550 over here. That is a big number. Take my place value. The Zalem concept? Yes. Thumbs up when you have it. Jacob has it, Michael. Oh, he has it. Um, I got the paper. Okay, Audrey. I'm there. Good. Okay, let's start. So, mm -hmm. similar to what we were doing yesterday and all last week, but we have an extra number. Now we're in the 10 millions place. Ooh, numbers are getting bigger. Let's use orange for a change. Orange. So you put in zero. Five, five, two, nine, seven, and then fourteen. Put my commas because those are the tips. important stuff. Important stuff. What is it called? What is it called? Periods? What are they called in periods, right? Oh, this one's got a question up top. Ooh. Ooh. So TM means 10 million? Yep, that means 10 million, then millions, then hundred thousands, and then 10,000, then thousands, and then hundreds of tens and ones. Yep. Yeah, let me put that up there. Hey, wait, I'm looking for my pencil. How do you lose your pencil if you're just... 10 million. I just put 10 million there, so you know. Favorite. I don't want Natalie to answer, and I don't want I it. To answer. I want somebody else to answer. The place value of the seven is what? What is the value of the seven? Wait, you don't want me? Hundred thousand. It is hundred thousand, but loner. Uh, but I want you to put, I didn't do that. Oh, shame. 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 Okay. So, Pita said, what'd you say? Oh, no, Mariah said, what? Sorry. Thousand. Hundred thousand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. You put hundred thousand. Hmm. Word form. Oh, brackets. How do we say this first number just right here in this period? How do we say that? So just look at that period right there. Me? Anybody? Oh, okay. 14 million. 14 million. Bingo was his name Oh, Good job. 14. It's going to be a huge number. Million. And you put your comma. Can't forget your comma. Oops, oops, oops. Let me get the next period as she called them in that video. Um, what's the next part called? Or how do you say the next part? Seven hundred. You're breaking up real bad. I heard 792, I think, but what? Seven hundred ninety-two is it millions? Is it thousands? Is it why aren't you in class? 
792,000. 1,000 comes at the end, okay? Okay. Well, you put your comma. I can't see. Can y'all not see my screen? No. Why don't y'all tell me? I can. I know I was moving it. Can you see it now? You can see my screen. Yes. Yes. I hear. Can you can move a little back so I can see it? A little I bit. I can't see the words. I mean the words. There. That's better. Can you not see AJ? I can't zoom in without making words there. Okay. How do I say the last part? 550. 550. 550. Expanded notation. What do I multiply? What do I multiply the one by? Ten million. Yep, one times ten million. So there's gonna be how many zeros behind this? Seven zeros. Seven zeros. Plus four times what? Four times a million. Plus seven times. Seven times a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. 
How many circles are in a 10 million? There's seven zeros. Make sure you know how to do this because I'm a little zeros. Not circles, there's zeros. Million has six. Yep. One Thank million has six zeros. Because well, you are going to be doing some of this by yourself here in a little bit. Um, the nine plus nine times what? Times ten. Ten thousand plus. Two times a thousand. Times a thousand? I know Adrian has it. I have to put you in a breakout room by yourself. Who, me? Yes, or with somebody else. Why? Well, so you can work with somebody else and tell you know what you were doing on this. No, I don't even know what to do on here. It's not a bad thing that you're going into a breakout room. Five times what? A hundred. Times a hundred. Plus five times what? Five times ten. ten. And that's it. We don't have to do the zero up there. But I think I know the last one. So the value of the five in the hundred space is blank the value of the five in the ten space. Nine times the value. I think. I think. <laughs> what? It's either going to be ten times greater or one tenth. So this five, you have five hundred. And then this one is fifty. So we're looking at the one in the hundreds place. This five right here. Is it ten times greater than that or one tenth of that? Times greater than that. Ten times. Yes. Good job, y'all. Ten times. Just put the times um like this. Yeah, like that. You can write 10 times there. We won't, we'll do, yeah, we'll do this. We want to try to say this number. It's a big number. We want to try to say it. Can I try? Uh -huh. Like the whole thing? Yeah. Well, look at this part first. So what? 92 million. Uh huh. Part ninety two million five hundred and eighty thousand. Huh? And then wait, what's that number? I can't really see it. Four hundred sixty seven. Four hundred sixty seven. Yeah, you said it right. So when you look at it just like that, it doesn't look as bad. It's when you look at the whole thing, but it looks hard. So when you're writing it, if you have to write it on test. Put the brackets or parentheses where those commas should be. So you can just look at that part. So 
Adrian, you are not allowed to answer. Natalie, neither are you. What is the value of the nine? That you, Mariah, or he that will answer? Why? The value of the nine. What nine. Is? Say it again. Ten million. Yeah. Ten millions. I'm kind of confused on the word form. Like, do we put nine million or or ninety million? What place is that nine in? The ten million. What? The ten million. So, do I put like ninety million? We put ninety-two million. Yes. We put ninety-two million. So Um, Mrs. Hernandez? Yes. I think I wrote cursive for million when I wrote M. Good. So 92 million. What's the next part? The twos in the millions place. Oh, no. Over here. Right here. Oh, black printed. In eighty thousand. Yep. Five hundred eighty thousand. Well, there was three thousands and two millions. Right, Miss Hernandez. Yeah. Three thousands, two millions. Periods, like she was saying earlier. Yeah. Ten. Two, ten millions and millions, hundred thousands, ten thousands and thousands, hundred tens and ones. Then you have the last part. One hundred and sixty-seven. So what, Vida? Four hundred and sixty-seven. Four hundred. Sixty-seven. On the bright side, you won't have to do. We have a test on Friday. You will not have to do any word. Word problem. Ooh, he's taking skills. And the notation. So nine, we're going to multiply by what? Nine times what? A million. What was that, Adrian? Ten million. Ten million, yeah. So we're going to have seven zero. Plus. Plus million. Yeah, but we're going to multiply. Two times five. plus two times a million. Ten million.
What are we going to multiply five times? Five times a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Plus. Eight times a thousand, ten thousand. Eight times ten thousand plus. Oh, we don't have to do the zero because it has no value. Four times what? A hundred. Yay. Remember to keep your cameras on, please, so I can see that you're working. Not just because you do have a math test on Friday, so I want y'all to be prepared. Can I say the next one? Yes. Six times ten. Six times ten. Perfect. Seven. seven times one. Perfect. Some of y'all are going to be more prepared than others in the test on Friday. Done. No, you didn't have to yell. Did we put our math binders away? There's a whole lot of people that don't have the cameras on. What? I can't hear you. I'm going to break it up. I said there's a whole lot of people that have their cameras off. It's not working. Okay. What's the next page? Do the two page three. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's only one and a half word problem. So page two, it's got a bunch of blankness. Oh my god, there's even more. Basically, in one hundred sixty thousand nine hundred and fifty. What? It should look like this. It doesn't have a number, but it's in the numbers in word form, right? Yeah. 30 million, it looks like this. The next page in your binder, 2A, page 2 is what we're on. <sighs> Down here, I will not make this be word form. Nine hundred and fifteen. One one six and then nine hundred and fifteen. Look like that. In standard forms, the same number. One one six. Is 
this one do this page. Maybe we can do it in the pod. Mr. Anonymous, is it, isn't it just the same one? Uh, oh, wait, never mind. What, this number or that number? No, um, the page a, um, 2A and page um, 2, I thought it was like a 1. Turn on your I can't hear what you're saying because you're breaking up. Adrian, can you see my screen? AJ, I don't know what you're talking about. Pages two, what two pages are the same? But they. I should. thought this page was like the same one we were just doing. No, they're different. They have different numbers. Sometimes it gives you the number. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. That's why it's really important you pay attention to what page I have up here, or you're writing the wrong thing in there. Okay. Because, like, up here it has, you see right there it gives you words, down here it gives you numbers. So they're not always the same. Okay. What is the value of a six? What's the value of this six? What is the value of that six? Thousand, like ten, six. I'm breaking up. Really. <sighs> Thousands. And in notation. You ready, Adrian? Yeah. We're going to multiply three times. Ten million. I think my Wi Fi is cutting. That's why it keeps freezing. Plus one times a hundred thousand. Plus one times ten thousand. One times ten thousand. You already finished, Adrian? And that's why. Mm -hmm. Not the only notation, not the whole thing. Plus six times the thousand. God, everybody's like, what is that today with their Wi Fi? Yesterday it was Zoom wasn't working, now it's the Wi Fi's. Mine is breaking up and kept freezing. What the I'm going to have you do. So hold on. I'll keep working. So, um, nine times one hundred plus plus one times ten plus five times one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are we gonna watch a video? No, I was gonna give you something to do since you're having a hard time. On your part? Yeah. Oh. So that you can do it? There's so we can see. Okay. Hold on, Randy. Let me finish this and then I'll give you the code for the near part I want you to complete since you're having trouble with Wi Fi. Um, nobody else better tell me, oh, I'm leaving near part because it's the same work. So, the value of the one in the hundreds, thousand space. So, this one right here, you get a different color highlighter. So, this one, oh, now you can't see the one. Uh -huh. So, that one is blank the value of the one in the what place. So, what place is this one in, I guess? We can. 1,000. Thousand, yes. So we'll put that. There's also another one in the tens. Yeah, but we're not going to look that So well, the value of this one is what to this one? Is it ten times this one, or is it one tenth? Ten times. Ten times. Good job. Yeah. So ten times. Y'all start looking at this one right here because I'm going to give Randy instructions on what he's going to do. I'm going to break out with him and then you can do it like that. Oh, Randy. Yeah? Can you hear me? Okay. What I want to do is you're breaking up. It's breaking, out. it's breaking up so bad. I'm going to send you the Nearpod code for today. Okay. I heard you bought I can't hear you because it's taking up. Make sure you're there. You got that. Stop me. Huh? Is your mom nearby? Yeah. Okay, tell her I'm going to send her an email with what you're going to work on right now since you're breaking up, okay? Okay. Y'all, we'll work on the Nearpod in a few minutes. Um, send in the chat the code for Nearpod. Oh, not yet. We're not working on it yet. We got to finish this problem. Then after the break, I might give y'all some time to work on a Nearpod and an assignment in Canvas. Is it what we're doing in Canvas is going to be the same thing we're doing here. So if you don't want to do this, well, I guess it'll be a little bit easier on Canvas because you get to type it. I'm already almost done with the second one. Okay, hold on. Let me send this message. Are we supposed to do the? Um, yes, start looking at it. See if you can figure out what number this is. I'm going to help you on a second. I'm just sending Randy this. His mom is in there. Why is there an X on word form? I'm not going to do word form. I won't make y'all do word form for this problem. I'll be nice. Okay. But at least the standard form and expanded okay, number. Oh, so you're in standard, standard form, form and the chart. Three, and then you're going to fill this in. We don't have to do word form. That's why there's an X. It's Oh, it's only the chart and standard form. Yes. Oh, it. You can also do it by seeing, looking at this expanded notation. I have to exit because when, when I'm on near part in Zoom, um, it does the Wi Fi goes slow. Okay, I'm going to just let your mom know I'm sending her this email with the Nearpod code. Okay, she will email. Okay. 
Um, what's the number here? Somebody figure it out. We got I know what it is. Seven, five, nine, one, three, six, eight, four. Let me tell you it. Wait, let me see. Y'all have it. <laughs> this what y'all got? Okay, I'm gonna tell you in word form. Seventy five million nine thirteen thousand nine hundred thirteen. Thirteen thousand nine hundred thirteen. Yeah, you're almost there. Good, good, keep going. Good job. Six hundred and eighty four. You're just a little off there in the middle, but you did pretty good. Good job. 74 84. Right? Remember it looks like that? Yep. How dumb of D. Yeah. I don't want I don't want Mariah answering. I don't want Natalie answering. I don't want Adrian answering, somebody tell me what the value of this three is. It's in the thousands. Okay, be the thousands? Yeah. Good job. Thousands. That one was easy. So you didn't have to write it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Read it in words for us. Standard form or expanded notation. Hmm. We'll do one of these. We'll do one. Do y'all want to do E or do y'all want to do F? Which one do y'all want to do? On the back side. They do that. Do y'all want to do E or do y'all want to do F? I'm giving y'all a choice. It doesn't matter what you do, but. More challenging and fun. E. Okay, so, in order, let me, I'm gonna take my paper down real fast so I can do this. But, place value chart. You cannot tell me, oh, I don't need one, Jacob. <laughs> Let me see if you. Are doing E? Um, Which one do y'all want to do, E or F? E. E. Okay, E, we'll do E. I'm gonna make a place value chart real fast. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Oh. Hold on, I'm making my place value chart. Hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. I think we only. So I went ahead and made myself a place value chart, which all of y'all should make because without looking at my chart, let me see. Let me quiz y'all and see if you know even know what place. What place is the seven in right here? Oh, you can't see. Sorry. What place is that seven in? The hundred thousands. Good job, but we're still going to make a place value chart. <laughs> yes, Chloe, you can go to the restroom. Sorry, I didn't see that. So, yes, but sometimes we can really know them. So, six, this helps when you have to write it in expanded notation. Oops, I put my comma in the wrong spot. That's why you don't write in pen. So. Because you mess up. Yeah, don't make that little smudge there. That's a mistake. But and you messed up. That's okay. my chart. And y'all should be drawing these for every time it gives you a number like this. And normally, you know, if you're in class, you would have a piece of grid paper and it would be a lot easier. Oh, I should be using grid paper. Oh. Well, I don't have grid paper. You don't know what grid paper is. Normally, you would have this piece of grid paper and you would be 
making a place value chart out of it. I should have made one out of here, out of the grid paper, but I didn't. We did those last year. I'll show you a little bit later, grid paper. Very helpful. Okay, so we're writing it in expanded notation. So what place is the three in? Uh, the 10 million. Yeah, and I know because I drew a place value chart. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me, I don't need one. You know, there might be a few of y'all that I would probably think would be okay, but no, I'm not gonna let you do that. The five's in what place? Uh, the uh, millions. The millions, good job. Plus, so I'll give you this one, seven times 100,000. Plus, plus five times 10,000. Good job, Diva. You are pretty good with place value. We did this last year. Well, you see, this is a lot less year. Because like last year, my class wasn't very good with place value. I, I don't know, like not all of them were very good. Some of them were pretty good, but not all. But you also have to be okay with place value. Um, we're getting the hang of it at least. The three is in what place? So three times what? I'm done with it. What is it? Plus four times what? Anybody? Anybody? Four times what? Four times. Did you accidentally put it. Did I do something wrong? I could have done something wrong. Plus, nope, y'all can't see that. Let's see if I can zoom out. Makes it. So two times ten. Ten and then six times one. Six times one. Okay. Nine twenty. Okay. Make sure you have this down. Have this down? Or not yet. Yeah. I do have it. We're gonna come back and finish this, and then we're gonna try to do some. I'm gonna try to give you a little time on the near pod or something. I have it down, or we're still writing. Almost done. Okay. I'm still writing, but I'm almost done. You are finished. You're free to start your break until 9.45 and be back here, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll see Bye. you at 9.45. Bye. Can we leave the meeting? Yes, you can leave. 9.45. What page is this? It's the back side of the page we were just working on. What, what time do we come back? Nine something? 9.45. 9.45, okay. Are you done, Mariah? You still writing? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, you're free to go and go have your break. Chloe, you're still writing? 
Michael, are you still writing or are you done? I'm already done. Okay, you can start your break or hang out. Chloe, are you still writing? I think, are you Chloe? Yes, no, maybe so. Chloe, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Let me know when you're done so I can end the meeting. Have I not been recording this whole thing? Probably not. Oh. No. Which one is the seven? What? Which one is the seven? The seven's right there in the hundred thousands place and seven times one hundred thousand. <laughs> 